I'll never forget Husey. And I, I think one of Australia's greatest ever sporting achievements and one of the most um, undervalued achievement is winning the 2015 Cricket World Cup because those boys lost their best mate. They played against India the whole summer and the Cricket World Cup came at the end of it. It was one of the most brutal summers you could possibly imagine in any working environment losing a mate like that and have at your workplace yes and then showing up to do the same job day after day after day after day for months and then have the you know the full-on nature of a world cup campaign and the pressure of it being on home soil to win that world cup is astonishing and australia does not I don't think appreciate it in its entirety the way that it is. Maybe it's the decline of the one day game. I don't know, but what those boys achieved and because I saw it every step of the way, I was there. I was at, I was standing outside the, the hospital hoping that he came through knowing that he wouldn't. I was there watching my mates go in and out. I was at the funeral. I was at every test match. I was at every press conference hearing Virat Kohli talk about how much he also loved Husey. Uh, you know, the whole set and then doing the World Cup. And so when they win the World Cup and Maxie, Glenn Maxwell runs up to me and gives me the biggest hug of all time, like you, you – you live it with them. I'm not, don't get me wrong. I'm not them. I'm not saying that, but I just think as a country, we don't fully comprehend that sporting achievement. Oh yeah. Mm. I certainly don't. And I haven't heard it from that perspective before. Yeah. And that's why sometimes things lack context and perspective. So um, it was always, like you'd see the individual performances after that happened and, you know, whether it was scoring a hundred or, um, you know, and they would look up to the sky and you yeah. could see it like the, the effect that it had on them individually like but the yeah the, the, as a holistically as a team p- pulling together it is it's a and every net session every time somebody got hit or every yeah. you know oh, every, every, every ball like it yeah, every ball it's like living yeah. that and then you know you see what's on camera but you don't you know as athletes often talk about the four walls of the hotel room you know how lonely that space is and you know they all of these boys will never be – I won't be the same after living through that. And I, I didn't even know him that that well. You can't live through an experience like that and ever be the same, um, mm. particularly when it happens in your place of work. And um, and also just the sheer human that Husey was. He was a legend. He yeah. was just so fun and affable. And, um, and, and that was the other thing that everyone thought he was their best mate. Like doing the interviews afterwards, he was one of those people that everyone, oh, he was my best mate. Oh, he was mm. my, you know, and we all know people like that, don't yep. we? And mm. it's not that they're all lying. It's that that's how he made yeah. everyone feel. Mm. 